I was thinking about getting a new computer and haven't decided which one. I think I'll just pick one up when I get back home. Oh, boomerang effect? What? Uh, you know, the uh, boomerang effect is where college graduates go back home to live with their parents because they can't find jobs. No matter what, no matter what your politics are, people on Occupy Wall Street have a point. For people with a bachelor's degree, the unemployment rate is at 4.1%. But for people like us, that rate is over five times higher than those who just graduated. Wow, I, I didn't know that. Where did you get this? On my Mac. <laughs> <laughs> An economics professor at Northeastern University did a study in 2010. Those are his findings. So, welcome, my friend, to the screw pile. Oh, thanks. Actually, I'm on my way to a job now, so I guess I dodged that bullet. Oh, hey, congratulations, Ray, right, man. Kudos. How did you do it? Well, I got an internship and made the necessary contacts to land a pretty good first job. Ah, right, cool, what job? <laughs> Who cares? You got an internship. I never heard back from anybody I try to get an internship from, and this guy got one. Nice. Well, how many applications did you send out? Just one. <laughs> so, Henry, are you as excited as I was for my first Star Wars convention? Look at you. You've gotten through the system. You've got a job. The TI-89 of our generation. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I guess. I'm, I'm excited. You know, a new chapter and, you know, going to put my nose to the grindstone. You don't sound very excited. It kind of sounds like Matt Lab turned on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do when I feel sad? I play with my hamster. I take him out of his cage, and I put him in this little hamster ball, and I pretend I'm in there with him, and we go to the living room floor, and we just crawl all over the living room floor.
zero zero one one zero one zero. It's Hottest drink all women should drink is the apple teeny. <laughs> it's 
most sophisticated drink they know. Whenever I tried to drink beer, they would take it out of my hand and say, oh no, that's not a lady drink. Well, I'm 21. I should be able to decide whether I want to drink a Cosmo or formaldehyde, and I don't need to hear your opinion about it. That's, that's odd. I've never heard of someone who thought women shouldn't drink beer. It can be quite annoying. Hopefully this will be one very large step towards enlightenment for them. I mean, just because I want to drink beer doesn't mean I want to be a man, Dad. Well, it's good for you. Go on your own way. I know, right? Why can't they see it? Anyway, where are you headed? Well, um, I'm going to a job. Nine to five? Work in an office? Is it one of those kinds of jobs where you need to have a morale manager just so you don't shoot yourself in the face with a monotony? Excuse me? I mean, you're a little too straight legs, Henry. A little too in the box, if you know what I mean. You're not fun. Oh, thank you. And what do you know about me? What gives you the right to tell me I'm boring? I never said you were boring. I mean, you filled in that blank yourself. But there have been studies, and we've been sitting here for what? Long time for me to know you're <laughs> well, for all you know, I could be an axe murderer. No, you're not. <laughs> the point is, the last time you did something out of the ordinary, like out of Hollywood or Bollywood for that matter. When was the last time you danced on a sidewalk or ran after the girl at the airport before she left it forever? Wait, maybe she's in here. <clears throat> oh, hi. Hi. Uh, hello. Hello there, <laughs> Hi. There was a study, a rumor that uh, you have a particular fondness for the mathematical field of study. Oh, well, yes, I do have a particular fondness for the quadratic formula and two cube versions. <laughs> <laughs> Janet. 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 I'll get to give them the awesome experience I never had. Care to join us? <laughs> no thanks. Have fun though. Well, good luck. And remember to bring up the student tie? Yeah, thanks. I wasn't she happy. She could have talked to me about it. I would have listened. 
Hansen. Did she ever mention anything about maybe being unhappy? Nothing important. I mean, I don't want to sit there and watch those kids her nails done. I don't want to go to bed with that bedroom and be on with her. <laughs> you know, she used to be this really cute thing. I don't know if I can really do it. I don't think so. But I'm going to try. I'll try. So, <laughs> when I went to that, that bad place, she always went over to sleep and she went over to the towel. And she'd go and grab him and she'd, she'd nestle her face in. It was so cute. <laughs> Sounds kind of cute. Yeah. Look, if you're in a relationship, don't. It only brings pain and misery and that, that, that castrating thing. <laughs> castrating? Excuse me? Yeah, you know where they sink their fingers into your chest and wrap their icy cold claws around your heart and laugh maniacally as they rip it out? <laughs> Okay, that's just a regular breakup. <laughs> Castrating is the same motion, just a little lower. <laughs> is this gonna hurt? Of course. Uh, are you sure about this? It's just one tattoo. I have three, now hold still. But, but, but. Grow up. And I want one too, which is a little needle that goes up and down into your flesh again and again like a jackhammer. Oh, I don't think I can go. Bye. 
Are you a communist? <laughs> Sunflower, we're just gonna have to agree to disagree on this one. No. Sunflower. Henry, if you failed someone, then you need to make it right. Love still love works out because it still exists. It exists for you, even if you don't believe it. That's what makes a difference from an economy or a country. The Soviet Union fell because enough people stopped believing it was a good idea. Love will always be there, even if people stop believing it's a good idea too. What if what if no one believes it's a good idea? That won't happen until all the belief and faith goes out of the world. That's where love draws strength from people, Henry. Looks like you're low on both. Sunflower, let's go find some food. I'm getting tired of cats. Okay, but I don't think they have like vegan food on this train. Good luck, Henry, and think about it. And don't give up just because you think someone told you it was a good idea. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Sunflower sometimes gets in her head to talk to people like that. She didn't mean to bother you. No, it's, uh, it's, it's no problem, really. Uh, Field, was it? Uh, George, actually. George? Not very good music. So I changed it. But Sunflower's right about love existing. A nice man was threatened with crucifixion of the loved ones, but he still did it, didn't he? So then you're not a filthy god the street hugger? <laughs> some are. Some are. Not much wrong with either group. Good luck, Henry. <laughs> Committing to 
Jennifer. Then why are your mom's trying? I have other things on my mind. And I'm clearly none of those guys that obviously hurt you. Oh, yes, obviously you're thinking of other things like pride and fear. And if you're nothing like them, why are you making the same mistakes as them? Why are you so scared? You don't have the bodies to make it work. <laughs> I'm not scared. It's just not going to work. Fool! You see what's happening? How you're getting upset? It's all cognitive dissonance with your thoughts of the opposite of your actions, and it causes you actual psychological pain. So if you want to wind up miserable with a mediocre wife and a mediocre wife, then you stay on this train. But if you want a shot at what you so stupidly left, then you go and beg for forgiveness when you're standing in front of her. It's not going to work. Why are you letting your problems get mixed up in that relationship? It's not her fault, right? Then it's yours. Things fall apart. Don't you put gates at me. Relationships. <laughs> Relationships fall apart because people let it happen. Not enough effort on one side of both and since you don't care about I do care about her. You're on this train so since you don't care about I her. I do. No, you don't. Yes. You don't care. She was just another toy for no. you. No. There's no shame in admitting it. Just own up. No. You don't care! You just thought you did! I love her! Then what are you doing on this trip?
it's a bigger mistake if I leave her, right? Why does this have to be so difficult? Can somebody help me? Anybody, help me!
You can argue about the simple the benefits of simple qualifications like a five foot three, thirty-six, twenty-four, thirty-six. But that doesn't hold up for the long term. Doesn't matter in the long term. She matters. She matters to me. I can get another job. I don't know if I can get another her. That's it. I made the right choice. I'm choosing love. Thank you, Sunflower. I just hope she gets my voicemail this time. I called and said I was coming. And I got her voicemail. Never get a voicemail. Um, Henry. Sorry to bother you. Oh, there you are. Okay. Your friend is waiting for you in the back. Um, he's waiting for you in the dining car. Uh, is everything okay here? Yeah, are you guys doing well all right? Yeah, we're fine. Okay, I was just wondering, because he doesn't speak English. Um, <laughs> 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 are you a friend? A really big guy? Um, he's waiting for you in the dining car. Okay, five minutes. Good? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Good <laughs> job. I mean, 
what I'm picturing their faces instead of looking at him. And not just for sex, either for other stuff too, like walking down the street and having it. Do people love to do that? No. <laughs> Answer's no, boy, I'm just FYI. I realized it, so I, I broke it off with him and, oh, pretty harsh actually. He didn't take it very well. It was a huge fight. Q exit after that. So you're saying that he didn't take it very well when you told him you were picturing other men while you were having sex with <laughs> I said other people, honey. Not just men. <laughs> Women too. Oh. Yeah, well, lots of things aren't supposed to happen. 
Like us breaking up? Like us being together in the first place. Fine. Fine. Let's just, let's just try an experiment, okay? Outside of this apartment. <laughs> Inside, we have each other. Richard, try to say one nice thing about Trish. And Trish, try to say one nice thing about Richard. Trish, try it. Why should I? He's trying. Do it for his sake since we won't be doing it for mine. Fine, okay. All right? Fine. Okay. I'll start. Do you think you'll end up like them, or you won't know what's going on until it's too late? 
you know what? I would really just like to get some sleep. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. Just think about it, honey. Thanks. Uh, I'm really sorry if I was rude last night. 